two regular army. Lieutenant! Bell, we've been over this. That sniper barely missed you back on the beach. Until the mission is over, there'll be no more saluting or signs of rank. I'm in charge here, Medier. Do you wish to interrogate the prisoners? No, they're beat. Why they look so sullen? They're wondering why we haven't killed them yet. There is no greater shame than being taken prisoner. Get this, Golden Boy. I just seem to know what he's doing. Nothing got to know, Kai Soto. Now my all, none of the good stuff. Yeah, you and you, you and I, but I should look here. Kiss him, man. None is some adato. Umutarunda. See that, boys? He slapped that Jap right upside the head. It was merely to remind him of his place. His shame was the tone of voice that he used with a superior. I respect the Japanese corporal. Respect. We're here to kill the sons of bitches. Do you know why we are fighting the Japanese private? With respect, sir. These bastards attacked Pearl Harbor. And why did they attack Pearl, Private? Because they hate the U.S. of A. and our way of life. They attacked the U.S. because we cut off their oil. What would we do if another country denied us the gas to run our cars? Ah, oh, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, it's my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendez case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. You have the address? It's the alley off the leash. Breathe, Phelps. Breathe, damn it! The alley off the lease though, between Los Angeles. Watch when you're driving, you maniac! Get it! The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, Phil. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah. Please wake me up when we get there. Record! No, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea. Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. Oh, for Christ's sake. Brothers, Pinker. Cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. Only 21 years old. Why the library card? Did he want us to find it? The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. 
Strangled, battered, naked. Yeah, 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 we know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. Too slow, Rusty. I'm busy here, Phelps. Double time, Rusty. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. Son of a bitch, once are identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. Any ideas? Let's check that library card address. See where our dead lady comes from. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him, we've closed the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway, but doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Not if he's got a confession. And, you know, there's ways of getting those. I'm sure. Sorry, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lapente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wipe your feet as you come in, detectives. It's this way. We need to search your room, Phelps. See what you left behind. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. Galloway, I need you. Hey, Cole, let's get moving. Okay. 
Okay, we have an address. Will you look at that. Someone's turned the place over. So what next? We need to search a room, Phelps. See what you left behind. Over here, Rusty. Keep your shirt on. I'm coming. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, Detective. I'll do my best. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. I think this whole thing was a put-up job. You heard about Antonia over the radio, and you made it look like a break-in so you could lift some of her things. And you have an ounce of proof for that scurrilous allegation? Sorry. My mistake. She ever bring anyone else home? No, she did not. What kind of place do you think I'm running here? What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. Tell me the truth. You know where she went and why she went there. You best keep your attitude under control, young man. You have some proof of what you're saying? Looks like I was mistaken. Come on, Mrs. Lepenti, you must have some idea. Maybe a movie? Maybe church. She was a very religious girl. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. Looks like I made a mistake. Can you describe the necklace? An icon of Our Lady of Guadalupe. It's quite beautiful. I let Antonia hang a painting of her there on the wall. You owe it to Antonia to hear me out! What are we waiting for? A smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. Too slow, Rusty. Hold on, I'm coming. You've had a break-in? No. That can't be true. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. The back window was broken. It's happened a number of times. The man out back uses his lawnmower. And I'm afraid it picks up stones. He's always paid for the damage. We're hunting a killer, madam. I would have expected a little more cooperation. Hey, Cole, let's get moving. What are we waiting for? I need this vehicle, officer, now.
near the No harm done. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker. You're under arrest. <clears throat> I'm gonna smack now your ram a little bit now, then I'll... Damn, they got some decent shots in there. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I'd kill my own wife? Should get the whole place of going over, then talk to the neighbors. And Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. Just picked fruit market. This will take some explaining. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movements. He's got no alibi, he's toast. El Dorado. Hey, Cole, let's get moving. Galloway, I need you. Yeah, yeah, as soon as I'm finished.
can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night? 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. But what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the weekend. Three blondes walk into a bar. You'd think one of them would have seen it. Divorce papers? Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. I think she met someone here, someone who followed her. You're protecting someone. I swear on my mother's soul that if I had any idea who was involved in this, I would tell you. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that. So you let a 21-year-old girl who was stone drunk just walk off into the night? I'm sorry about what happened. I really am. But I poured drinks. I don't claim to have the answers to everyone's problems. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. What are we waiting for? You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Shut. Great. We'll need to come back later, Phelps. Maybe somebody here saw Antonia the night she died. Help me out. We need to know what our dead girl was like while she was still breathing. Phelps. Back to the apartment. KGPL, 11 King, over. 11 K, Captain Donnelly and Detective Sergeant Finnis Brown urgently request your presence at Central. A new letter has been found. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine, from him. And now we sent another. You know, I really hate this fuck, this Black Dahlia guy. Have you seen the body? The fucking case just gnaws away at your guts. Hollywood. 
every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Gutted on the fucking sidewalk. Captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. Has that just been paid? Look at that. Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. Keep upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. That's why we called you in. Do you think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what has it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We had the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Over here, Rusty. I'm busy here, Phelps. Get that desk. Phelps, you mind coming here and doing your job for a second? Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. You don't ask, you never find out. What time did she leave? Maybe one o'clock. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far and you lashed out. I told you, I wouldn't accept a divorce. You're off the hook, for now. You deny killing your wife? Of course I deny it. Why would I kill my woman? Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. You're lying through your teeth. You killed her and your brother's in on it. You don't know what you're saying. Why would I do that? 
If you don't ask, you never find out. We're typing a blood angel. It won't look good if it matches your wife. Because God is my witness. I didn't kill her! Keep it to yourself, kid. Let it eat away at you like poison. You're going back into a cell. We'll be waiting when you're ready to spill your guts. Are you taking my wife's murder seriously? You can go to hell for all I care. Galloway, I need you. Keep your shirt on, I'm coming. You're behind the wheel. Over here, Rusty. Yeah, yeah, as soon as I'm finished. LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night, why do you ask? The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. She was brutally beaten soon after she left the bar. Clem, you sure you didn't drive her somewhere? What are you suggesting? Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. She looked like she was having a good night to you? Eh, hard to tell. Might have just been the booze that was making her seem maudlin. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. I think she came in here to call a cab. Even though she was drunk, she was reluctant to do it. She just wanted the phone. You had to push it further. What are you talking about? How can you make up these lies about me? like I made a mistake. Something bad happened to her, Glenn. And so far, we have her husband as a suspect, and you. Give us something that will make us go away. Me? You think it was me? Do I look like a violent man? Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. Too slow, Rusty. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. cut someone who was already dead. It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. They must have seen it during the war. This fruit stall punk gets about 10 seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clem! I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. We should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. 
Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Strange that he'd leave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Hit him, Cole! Spin him out! The fruit guy's getting away, Phelps! Now he's about to get hit. Show me your hands. You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. Now, lads, what am I to do with you? I give you a perfectly good murder. A case any homicide man would be happy with. An affront to our way of life and our Californian dream, and a chance to deliver some retribution. Are you not believers, lads? Homicide men are the right hand of God. You need to back out of here slowly and take a long, hard look at yourselves and your methods. Ask yourself what you are prepared to do to put these creatures behind bars. It's the streets for the two of you until I can find some forgiveness for the foppish behavior you've been exhibiting.